Hey, what's up, guys? It's Legacy, and here we are with the final Legacy Squad build. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed because we didn't get everything we wanted from it, and but that's to be expected. I'll describe later on why everything didn't go to plan. However, if you do want to download this game and try it out, it is still a lot of fun. Uh, I'll leave it in the description for everyone to get. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Uh, I'm actually going to add every single bot I can. I've already played this a bit. I did a first recording, but I really didn't think it was good enough. As I have, I'm going to say it right now, this is probably going to be my last Superhero Squad Online video for quite a long while. But that doesn't necessarily mean it will be my last YouTube video. This is simply because I've been burnt out, and this really has been the film nail in the coffin for me. And that's not any blame of the developers, it's just that I've been, I was burnt out before all of this got announced, so... It's just that. Anyway, yes, you can add multiple bots, and it's now a mosh pit of characters. This is fine. It's quite funny. But yeah, Wolverine is one of my favourite characters in the series of Marvel. Series of Marvel, yes. But X-Men is great, so I'm here to use Wolverine. It's a shame we didn't get to see Cyclops. Maybe Cyclops is unlockable. I'm pretty sure it might be. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Hopefully we can get Cyclops at one point. But yeah, this is definitely going to be my last appearance on online video. Why? Because I've been burnt out for a while. The reason I haven't been uploading or anything is simply because I'm just fed up of everything, really. Not everything in general, but just the fact that, well, I don't know. I just don't have the same amount of passion I did. Maybe it's just I've had everything. A lot of things have just been a letdown for me in this community. But I've made a lot of friends in this community, and I'm glad to have the fans like you. It's more of just a me thing. Corona really killed my ambition for this, and then, you know, just all this news of Legacy Squad not being everything I wanted to be, um, it has made me sad. It's still a good game, and that's what I'm trying to say here. It's just not everything I wanted from it personally. And that's not even the blame of the devs. They spent three years doing this. Three years to come to this. To say three years isn't long, it would be a lie. They have spent a ton of time making this game and of course it didn't pay off for us but for them it did they learned a lot from this and it's been an experience and to say uh, they should work on it full time they should fully complete it is a completely selfish thing to say I think uh, they spent three long years developing all of this and uh, it's been hard for them because they've had no support from any people I mean, people, they'll try and reach out to people, but they'd never respond, and people would reach out, but just never reply back, or really show any type of CV or whatever. It's not worth, like, they didn't have the skills to help on this. Which, I mean, you could say, oh, well, that's their fault, but when, I think they had a leak a long time ago, due to people trying to help, and I think ever since then, if you weren't qualified, which is a fair thing to say, to be fair, like, if someone to delete, like, everything they had, this would be a lot more disappointing than what we've got. And, I'm just glad we got something out of this. They easily could have left it to rot and burn and just make everyone forget about it. But they at least made a playable final product, which is in itself quite pretty fun. Like, I'm having fun with this. I had fun with this earlier. And it still is fun. Like, it's a little game it's a good fan game i would say that but like if you were to only find about a project till today yes this is a good game but if you were here for all the things they announced like the superhero city hero city stuff like that open world maybe a tiny story uh, all the characters a lot of missions online pvp yeah this is kind of sad Unfortunately, I mean technically there is PvP in this. You definitely could, um, because there is friendly fire you can turn on. So I mean, yeah, there are shortcuts, and technically there is online. You just have to use like a co-op, like a local multiplayer thing that makes co-op online. I forgot what it's called. Um, someone will have to tell me in the description. So technically, yeah, there is online. It's just a shame there's only two missions. And I would love to see more characters playable. Because Cap's really fun to play as. Same with Daredevil and Spider-Man. And I'm pretty sure the other. Oh my god, I'm getting 
destroyed her. I need to go around my teammates, mate. And I kind of... They did put effort into this. They definitely did take the time out of their way to make this, you know, very accessible. In a way, like, there's some features where, you know, if you die, it doesn't completely end. You switch over to your teammates, which I think is a cool addition. Especially in this, where things do get chaotic. Definitely do need more mates. God, did half of my team die? No, they're just chilling. They just don't give a fuck. Alright, well, that's not nice. But yeah, this does become a mess. And it is good. If you haven't played it, it's still worth checking out. But yeah. And people are going to say, oh, but Patreon, they got funding. Couldn't they pay some devs? Couldn't they add more and stuff? Patreon money wasn't enough. They were getting like 50 quid a month. And I, there was a lot of stuff on there. I'm definitely going to release some of this Patreon stuff they announced because some of it was really cool. Some of them might even be playable characters. But probably mostly the Spider Man, I'd say. Oh my god, I'm a bad guy, bro. This is bad. I need to chill. Chill back. Relax. Although Wolverine is actually not one of the best. He doesn't really have a spammable moveset. Oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. Where did the strawberry go? I needed that. But yeah. It's just that. And. Um, and I don't blame the devs. I think no one should go out of their way to hate on the devs. They tried their hardest. Heck, they even respond to everyone now. And I wouldn't be surprised they feel an overwhelming amount of guilt as well. To not be able to really, you know, finish what they promised. But at the end of the day, like they said, it isn't worth it at the end of the day. They would be spending like a decade or so finishing this game. And is that really worth it? For the amount of people who are probably going to play this? No. I'll be honest, if it was me, I'd do the exact same thing. And I think you guys would agree as well. So there you go at the end of the day, at least they're honest. I can't blame them. I, I felt an overwhelming sense of anger when I found out that it isn't going to be what I wanted, but then I was thinking selfishly. And after I talked to Vader about it, I understood quite well that this is you know, it's generally going to be impossible for them to finish this. Budget really does matter in a game. And making this type of game for free, with the fact that Marvel can DMCA you at any point, it's kind of scary. Though. And they, they are still going to be making games though, it's not this. And that's fair enough, I think, you know, he's not quitting making games. I don't think he's ever going to return to Legacy. But maybe he'll make another Marvel game, who knows. But I doubt he will. It would be cool to see that though. Try and, try and remake Legacy. Oh god, I'm getting clapped here, bro. This is hard, what the fuck? Yeah. That's pretty much why Legacy Squad failed. There's nothing else I can really say. Except it's just the multiple factors that went into it. And I'm glad they shut down the Patreon though from a moral standpoint of you know they don't want money from it anymore because they know that they won't be able to finish it. Which they did shut down it pretty much two months ago. I'm pretty sure where the plan kicked in to just finish the game because they knew this would take too long. And I hope the next game will be a lot better. At the end of the day, this was their first game. They got what they wanted out of it. Unfortunately, we didn't, but <laughs> at least there's still the possibility they may come back in the future to finish it. There's that possibility. It's quite unlikely possible. Don't take my word for it. 
I mean, don't take my word for it at all, because it definitely probably won't happen. But maybe in the future, there is a possibility that people might pick this up and finish it. Because the project files are being re -rele to release to everyone, so you get to see all the Patreon characters. I'll release some um, in the Discord. I might as well, right? And they were good. It's just a shame. Even like this, I would be happy with just a bunch of maps and levels. And honestly, I, 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 I feel kind of guilty as well for the sense of, you know, I hyped this up for a long time. I was excited. I was probably the most excited person for this game. I expected a lot, man. A really underrated gem of a game. But yeah, I think I've given up on fan games for a while. I still support Vader, whatever he's doing. I'm still supporting SEO forever. That game, Crab, really is trying. And I, I'm glad that Crab's made it really far. I'm, I'm super glad that he's gone ahead and his team are doing well bits. And I hope they finally find out how to fix the lag, make that game actually feel playable to me. I know a lot of people like me have complained about it. And, uh, I feel strongly about it. Can I make it over there? I wish people would pick this game up though. Maybe, I know there's another SO remake, maybe they could pick it up and maybe bring it into their remake or so. They, they're the people who made the Star Wars Old Republic that game. I don't know when they're going to release it all publicly. I think when they get more time and they're finished with the, not Old Republic, oh it's the Clone Wars game, yeah. Yeah, maybe they could pick it up, make something better, maybe. It's just a shame this came to an end, not the way we all wanted it. And it's not even... I, I keep repeating myself, don't I? I don't know, I just feel an overwhelming sense of guilt for myself as well. I feel really guilty for, you know, making everyone's expectations really high, really boasting about everything, even though I should have I shouldn't known better. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like. Yeah, for seven minutes talking about this, wow. I should be talking more than that. The game's hard though. I think if you want to get everything, you might need a team. A team of good players. <laughs> or a hacker. You could hack this. But man, what's the point? What is the point of hacking? See every character, I guess. I'm the parkour king. I'm gonna see if I can get this. We 
Yeah, this is too hard. <laughs> I don't think I'll get Spider-Man. Fuck. Oh, oh well. Yep, I'm dead. <sighs> oh well. Yep, GG. Oh dear. I can't be asked to do that again. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, that's it, really. Oh, sorry about that. This is the end of Super Squad Online for me for a while. Why? Because I want to do other things. I'm, I'm burnt out, like I've said. I just can't be, like, it's a lot, it takes a lot for me to upload, and I'd rather do something else. I want to move on with fan projects in general. I, I support them 100%. I support Let's Do Forever 100%. I support the other remake 100 spent and I, and if there's a team who will finish off Legacy Squad, I support them also 100%. Um, however, I just feel so burnt out of this community and honestly I'm glad I met everyone. Every single subscriber I'm completely gratefully, you know, eternally grateful for you. I love each and every one of you and I'm so glad you've supported me this whole way and I couldn't have done it without you guys. And the reason I've kept uploading was because of the consistent support I've been getting and I just love every single comment I get. I love them from the bottom of my heart. I, I feel gratitude that people find enough time in their day to comment on my stuff and ask about what's going on. For me, that's just amazing that people just care enough for me to subscribe to me. I'm glad. However, this is the end of part one for me. Part one of my channel. I'm going to have a complete rebrand. I'm going to do a lot of things. And there will be a new upload come next month. And I'll show you. I've gained a lot of confidence from this community. And I'm ready to show the community what I want to do next. And that's what I'm going to be focusing. It's just pretty much on, I think, just game coverages, game reviews. I, I can't really explain it to you, but when it comes out, you'll know what I mean. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, even though I won't be posting SEO videos anymore. I'll still be in the Superhero Squad Online community. And if there's a big release, like a full Superhero Squad Online Forever release, I'll definitely be talking about that. However, that, this is the end for me, guys. This is the end of Chapter 1 for my channel. And I so glad that everyone here has been watching me and I don't know what to say guys I'm so thankful and I hope you guys follow me into my next chapter of my channel and um thank you guys that's all I can say thank you guys and thank you to the devs on Superheroes One Line Forever which is a really corny name and Legacy Squad and I wish the best for all of you yeah let see you guys at the next upload see you next month boys catch you later